we have a standard line. People sometimes, when they don't know what to say to a witch, they'll say, um, turn me into a coward. And we look at them and say, well, it looks like someone beat me to it. <laughs> Lori Cabot needs a sense of humor. As the official witch of Salem, Massachusetts, her black robe figure is a familiar one to residents and tourists alike. In a city notorious for 17th century witchcraft hysteria, Lori is open about her dedication to this ancient art, science, and religion. Hi, how are you today? Huh? Nice to see you today. I chose to be public because we've been here since the burning time. Uh, Nine million people were burned, hanged, and tortured under the wrong definition of witch. And so we chose secrecy, and I think it was wrong. It left a gray area where people could say anything they wanted to say about us. And that's led us to where we are now. The hit movie, The Witches of Eastwick, is a fantasy about three modern-day witches and a devil, played by Jack Nicholson. During its filming in Cohasset, Massachusetts, Lori led a protest against the movie as unfair to witches. Who should we be looking for? Somebody nice? Somebody you could like? They don't really use the word witch, and I'm glad that they didn't use the word witch during that movie. However, it's still in the title, and so that's not good enough. It still portrays them doing things that are, are wrong with their psychic abilities, things that, that witches would never do. It's very sad for witches that people confuse us with Satan worshippers. We're pre-Christian. We don't have a Satan, and we don't have a devil, and we don't believe in evil gods. Witches meet in groups to do their magic, and it's usually on every new moon and full moon, and we call them covens, and it's either 3 to 13 people, and they get together like a community. Some magic, however, is done at home alone. because it's a place of, of high energy and concentration and it's charged with all the different tools and energies uh, that we need to meditate or to do ourselves. And it's a place where I can keep all my tools. I can keep my, my candles, my incense burner, my crystals, my wand. It's a very important um, focus in a witch's home. A spell is a projected thought, but it is a thought that will come to be to some degree or another. Some people may project to have something they really want. And most people are concerned, of course, with money and love. And uh, it seems to be foremost on everyone's mind. They're not worried about balancing with the universe. They're worried about their lover or the cash in their hands. If all of this sounds intriguing, you might want to visit a very unusual boutique, Pro Haven Corner. I opened a store in Salem, and my daughter Jody now runs it, um, because it's sort of a witch's supermarket. It's a place where you can get herbs and, and candles and oils to mix potions and all your amulets and charms and, and a lot of information, too, about what witchcraft is. It helps the public who comes to Salem, and they look for a witch. They don't really know what to look for. And they walk into the store, and they learn a lot. Dragon's blood is a, a resin, and it comes from a reed from Malaysia. And it's powdered and put into an incense. And it's the oldest known resin used in love spells, and it works quite well. I would like to see this which is accepted just as much as, as any other major religion. It's been my life's goal to make room for us in the earth so that we can practice and, and be neighbors and be open about what we do. Um, I think that, that communication uh, will lend us a space in our community.